My name is Peter Dyer, and I'll walk you through using an envelope to change the amount of LFO pitch and frequency modulation on a Pro 3. Envelopes are useful for adding modulation that varies over time according to the shape of the envelope. Okay, so why should we care? Most synths already have vibrato assigned to the mod width. Well, assigning it to an envelope frees your hands up, and we'll take this a step further and assign the envelope to increase the LFO's rate as well, which is more like a natural vocal vibrato. Let's start with a basic patch. You can initialize a patch in the global menu or hold the octave down button and press latch as a hotkey. In the basic patch, LFO1's destination is already assigned to the frequency of all three oscillators. I'll use aux envelope 1 to increase the amount of LFO pitch modulation over time. For quick assign, hold the aux envelope 1 button and turn the LFO1 amount knob. You can use this to quick assign any mod destination for the aux envelopes. Set the envelope amount to max, 127, and leave velocity sensitivity off. Its shape can now affect the amount of pitch modulation over time while our hands are busy playing. I want the envelope to increase the amount of pitch modulation slowly the longer I hold a note. Set attack to 100. Set the amp decay to zero, as the decay stage won't matter in this example. I want the amount to increase and then remain while the keyboard is gated. Set sustain to max at 127. Set the release to a longer time, like 60, so it doesn't immediately drop the amount to zero when you release a key. You'll have to turn up the amp release to hear the effect. All the Pro 3's envelopes have a hidden fifth stage, delay, making them D-A-D-S-Rs. Delay in this regard sets a delay between the time the envelope is triggered by pressing a key and when the attack portion actually begins. I'll use Aux1's delay stage to increase the fade in time of the LFO after I hit a key. Press the button under tab 3 to view the delay amount on the OLED. Set delay to 100. Now we have a longer delay before the envelope starts introducing the LFO's pitch modulation. We can also use Aux1 to increase LFO1's frequency over time in the same shape as the LFO amount change. We'll use the mod matrix to assign aux1 to LFO1 frequency. For quick assign, hold the source button under modulation and turn a knob in the aux1 envelope section. Use the modulation amount knob to increase the amount to 30. Then press the destination button and turn the LFO1 frequency knob to assign it. Now LFO1's rate will increase alongside LFO1's amount as I hold a key. Now we can also tell the filter to open in this same shape, either by matching the filter envelope to aux1's shape, or just assigning aux1 to also modulate filter cutoff. For this we'll need to lower the filter cutoff so it has somewhere to open up to. Now the filter opens as the LFO's rate and amount increases. Now we've got three moves assigned with a single key press, making a single note sound much more complex. Work smarter, not harder. Setting up automated systems like this augments your performance by providing extra hands to turn knobs for you. This process is nearly identical on Sequential's Profit X, Rev2, and Profit 12 synths. Make this patch at home, add your own tweaks, and tag me in Sequential so we can check it out. Thanks for watching.